Okay. <clears throat> okay, we call the meeting to order. Ask for the approval of the agenda. Moved by Bob, second by Marilyn. All those in favor? Gary? Any additions or deletions to the agenda? Declaration of conflict of interest, general nature of those. Is there any? No. Let the record show there is none. Adoption of minutes. Moved by Marilyn. Seconded by Bob. Any discussion, errors or omission in those minutes? The only thing I noticed was it said staff president. I know Jason wasn't here. And and I think Emma should ought to be in, included in. That's the only thing I noticed. That okay? Yes. Okay, severance application V37-2023. No, that's not it. What have we got going now? I'm in, in the wrong. Here we are. Here we are. Yep. Sorry about that. <clears throat> B61 2023. Talk 595 Craig and Road. Want to join us at the table, please? Emma, you want to give us a preamble of this, please? Absolutely. Um, application B61 2023 is proposing to sever a 1.1 hectare parcel from uh, 595 Craig and Road. It has an area of 66 meters, or sorry, a frontage of 66 meters on Craig and Road, and it's developed with a single family dwelling. The retained parcel will retain an area of 19 hectares and approximately 130 meters on Craig and Road. It's developed with an existing accessory structures, including two sheds and a vacant storage barn. Um, the, so the property is uh, designated rural in the county and townships official plans. There is provincially significant wetland far in the rear, rear of the property, but the proposed severed lot and existing development is outside of the 120 meter setback. Um, so there's no negative impacts to the natural heritage features anticipated. Um, we did review the application with compliance with the minimum distance separation guidelines. So the barn on the subject property on the retained lands um, if considered an occupied livestock barn would generate a setback. So as a condition of consent, um, it's been required that the uh, owner apply for a change of use permit um, to prohibit the keeping of livestock. And that has been undertaken already by the owner. We received an MDS calculation for the adjacent property at 655 Craigan Road. Um, we did follow up with the owner to confirm um, that the information in that calculation was correct and did an updated calculation, which is shown in the planning report. And there is a 0.5 hectare building envelope outside of the MDS arc generated from the barn at 655 Craig and Road. Um, so based on this, the proposed severance uh, does comply with MDS. I'll note that uh, any building permits for residential uses on the retained uh, will be required to comply with the MDS setback. Um, the proposed severed and retained lots do meet the minimum lot areas for the rural zone in the Township of Stone Mill zoning bylaw, and there's adequate lot area that feature development on the severed and proposed, or sorry, severed and retained parcels um, can comply with the bylaw. Um, so based on this, um, the proposals for um, an existing uh, dwelling, there's an existing well and septic, um, no adverse impacts are anticipated. 
the proposal conforms with the policies of the provincial policy statement, the County of Lenox and Addington official plan, and this Township of Stone Mills official plan uh, pending the noted conditions are satisfied. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Anyone have any concerns or questions from the committee? Yeah, I have a, I have a concern. Um, I realize that the that the, the application of the severance uh, uh, hits all the high points, uh, frontage area, and this type of thing. What I don't understand is why the severance created the severance line has to uh, bisect that uh, <clears throat> circular driveway. It makes no sense to me as to why they picked 66 meters of frontage, which is 216 feet. Uh, so examining the severance application, uh, it's on the screen there. It took me a couple of minutes to realize that what's happened here is that the surveyor has gone ahead and massaged that line such that he get the minimum frontage and the minimum 70 meters at, at the rear such that they clear the building by six meters, which is the minimum setback requirement. Now we're looking at 50 wide open acres here. We got 640 meters of road frontage. Why to God and green earth do we have to go to minimum, minimum, minimum? You know, um, can you put that sketch up for me, uh, please, uh, Cindy? Oops, got to go up a little bit. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, the first thing I said to myself is, why did they not do this? This makes sense to me, you know? This is a, a sensible thing. You've got an existing condition. You got in it, you know, this this would have made sense as a proper severance application. Um, I just, it just bothers me, you know, like, why? As I say, 50 acres, wide open, lots of frontage, you know, why why do we stick, why do we have to go, you know, to extreme minimums? I, I it doesn't make sense to me. You and I talked about this when I was there and talked to you. I don't, I don't understand. Because a lot of room on the left side of the property under feet to go to the back of the property. And the setback is six meters, which is required. There's no reason that severance can be denied based on the fact that it has a secular driveway. You need an entrance to the property. It doesn't require that it has to have a secular driveway on the property. Oh, I realize that. That's, that's not what I'm getting at. And, and it means that this is what you say is your no, it's just I, I told you that this this just agrees with with everything. I just don't. I just I just can't understand why this would not have made more sense. Why, why would you insist that somebody should have bigger frontage or go to all the circular driveway because there are no required a proper entrance to the property? It has to be seen that that is not circular entrance. Will you think every servant should be capable to have a circular driveway? No, it just already exists. It's already there. Yeah, but, but that was a big, big driveway. Circular, there is a lot of room to make it still circular drive. Why would you stand more than that? Yeah. We did six well, meters <clears throat> from the house and see on the left side how much room is there to go to the back of the truck. Just didn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me on, on, on the fact that you have so much room there. You have so much acreage. You know, why would you squeeze it to the absolute minimum? You know, this is okay if you're in, in middle of Napanee. Side, on the left side of the property? Yeah. More than 100 feet. I know, but you we're still, we're talking basically the, the uh, the minimum the the, re the reason the surveyor arrived at these dimensions is so he could create a line that was exactly six meters off the house, which is the exact minimum required under the under the zoning. 
That's why you have that. So you just cut the driveway in half or cut it off and away you go. Anyways, that's my concern. That's that's my feeling on the, on the matter. Uh, and uh, what I was going to do is I was going to make a motion that the frontage be increased to approximately 73 meters to include the circular driveway and that the provision to remove the driveway be removed from the conditions of severance. I don't, that's. Is we have on occasions that change uh, property lines and severance lines uh, to fit existing conditions, and this is to me is is is, is to me is the same thing. So I've made that motion, uh, Chairman. Okay. Is there anyone else have any concerns or questions? We do have a motion by, by Dieter. Uh, do we have a seconder for that motion? Calling once. Calling twice. Calling three times. Motion is lost. Yes, Bob. We can't go on just to change rules and regulations just to meet our own license. We have to pull us on that paper, survey the dot, meet the minimum standard. I don't know why we consider. Do you have anything to say, Emma? I'll just note that staff are in support of the, or it's my professional planning opinion that the application is presented is uh, fully supportable. Thank you. Anyone else have any concerns or questions? Yes, sir. Just regarding the correspondence that was shared with the committee uh, today, is the landowner present that submitted their concern? Uh, no. <clears throat> Who are you looking for? Um, it's Jennifer Cook. Not that I'm aware. Marilyn, do you have your hand up? Yes, I did. I um, I will say that I understand where Dieter's coming from, and I did I did talk to uh, Mr. Tonk, and he you know he explained to me that this is what he wanted, and that in, that in fact he was going to move that driveway, and so because I was thinking much the same thing. Well, you know, you could go up the side, but, <clears throat> but it it doesn't affect. It doesn't really affect. It in any way except for aesthetics, saving you a few bucks for for putting in a new driveway, or maybe costing you more because maybe now you have to do a new survey. I don't know that, but I can't see that it makes a big difference. And secondly, about the letter, and I thought maybe Emma could address that for us. Oh, just to add. Um, is Mr. Tonk aware of this letter? No. Should he? <laughs> yes, so we did receive a letter of correspondence from the adjacent property owner who had um, some concerns with the application as proposed. Um, we reviewed have reviewed the letter um, and the proposal does comply with MDS. Um, it meets all the minimums um, in the township's official plan and zoning bylaw. Um, so still recommendation from staff would be um, as presented. With respect to um, reduced or changing the frontage to accommodate the circular driveway, we'll just note that due to the MDS setback, um, it's likely preferred and um, to maintain a larger area outside of the MDS setback on the retain retained lands um, so just put that to committee's consideration and as well note that there are conditions uh, to handle the uh, circular driveway so that there's only one entrance per each lot.
Thanks, Emma. <clears throat> well, as far as I'm concerned, it meets all the conditions that, that, that's necessary. Uh, as far as this letter goes, we can't police that. And it's, it's not, not, nothing concerning uh, the rules and regular efforts. Yes, Aaron, you had your hand up? Yeah, I'm willing to put forward a motion to uh, approve as written. Second, moved by Mar Aaron, seconded by Bob that we have, uh, approve this application. Yes, Marilyn? Just one more little comment. In speaking with Mr. Tonk yesterday, he was talking about moving the driveway, but I'm hearing Emma say something like you only have one entrance per property. Is that correct? Oh, sorry, yes. The, yeah, the condition is to. Um, ensure that there's one entrance, like one on the severed, one on the retained, okay. to avoid the driveway crossing over the severed lot line. So, in other words, can Mr. Tonk actually move that and still have a circular driveway because he'd have two entrances onto that retained parcel? Uh, yep, subject to um, approval by uh, Township Public Works, they would need to apply for the entrance permits. Okay. That, that's included, included. We talked in the, about that yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that's in, included in item four. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just clarify. We have, we have a we have a motion moved by Aaron and seconded by Bob. <clears throat> Let's call the vote. All those in favor. Carrie. Okay. You're on your way, sir. Have a good evening. B67-2024, starring 61 Inglesby Road. Emma? All right, thank you. So consent application B67-2023 proposes to sever an approximately um, 0 0.139 hectare parcel and add it to the adjacent parcel. I know municipally is 380 Inglesby Road. So the proposed severed parcel has an area of 0 0.139 hectares. Um, there is no frontage, um, but it does have frontage on a private lane. The uh, parcel to receive the additional lands has approximately 863 square meters with 31 meters of frontage on White Lake and is developed with a dwelling. So the purpose of this severance is to increase the size of an existing undersized lot and provide um, area to develop a garage and septic in the future. The retained lands um, will have an area of 818 hectares and will contain or will can have their 67 meters of split frontage on White Lake Road. Um, so the property is developed or is designated as a rural area in the County of Lennox and Addington official plan. It is uh, designated uh, rural in the township official plan. So both the proposed and existing uses are permitted um, by the township official plan. There is um, some provincially, provincially significant wetland adjacent to the subject lands. Um, however, um, Sorry. We'll note that any uh, future development within the 120 meters of the provincially significant wetland may be subject to evaluation um, and may require a permit from Quinney Conservation. The subject property is zoned rural within the township zoning bylaw and is developed with a single detached dwelling, which will remain on the retained lands. The severed lands are to be added to a parcel that is zoned residential limited service and will be subject to a zoning bylaw application to avoid split zoning of the parcel. Um, it's the understanding that a garage and septic are proposed for the um, severed lands to service the existing dwelling in the future. Uh, with the proposed lot addition, there's adequate lot area for proposed development to comply with the provisions of the bylaw, including the 30 meter setback. Um, so we did not receive any uh, public comments on this application. And based on this review, the proposed consent is consistent with the intent of the provincial policy statement, conforms to the policies of the county of Lennox and Addington official plan and the Stone Mills official plan as it permits lot additions and the provision of the township zoning bylaw. Um, so based on this, the recommendation is uh, to approve.
Thank you. <clears throat> Concerns or questions from the committee? No? Okay, we need a motion. Move by Bob, second by Merrill. Anybody in the audience have any concerns on this severance or a lot of addition, I should say? I don't see any anyone here represent them. Okay, been moved by Bob and was seconded by Marilyn. Right? Any other concerns, questions? Call the vote. All those in favor? Carried. B68-2023A, Perry and Graham. Is that Marlene? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay. okay. Uh, great. So consent applications B68A23 and B68B23 uh, proposed to sever an approximately 1,030 square meter parcel with 25.6 meters of road frontage on County Road 14 and add a portion to each adjacent property at 286, 2862 County Road 14 and 2868 County Road 14. So the uh, proposed parcel to be severed is an existing lot of record that is vacant. The proposal effectively seeks to divide the uh, property down the middle and add each severed piece uh, to the adjacent lands to increase the lot areas of each adjacent property. Um, so severed parcel A has an area of 515 square meters with 12.81 meters of frontage on County Road 14. The parcel to receive the lot addition has an area of approximately 0.1 hectares and 25.6 meters of County Road 14 and is developed with a existing single detached dwelling and accessory structure. Separate parcel B is 515 square meters with 12.81 meters of frontage on County Road 14 and it's also vacant. It will be added um, to the lands at 2868 County Road 14 that have an area of approximately 986 square meters and 26.2 meters of frontage on County Road 14. Um, so through this application, the applicant seeking to dissolve the existing undeveloped parcel and increase the lot area and lot frontage of the two adjacent properties. Each existing adjacent property is already developed and no new development is proposed in conjunction with this application. Um, the proposed development uh, meets the intent of the Stone Mills official plan as it permits severances for boundary adjustments and lot additions. The subject properties are zoned Hamlet Residential within zoning bylaw 2014-744 as amended and is vacant. Um, no new developments proposed as part of this application. The proposed severed parcels will contribute additional lot area and frontage to the adjacent benefiting parcels, which are both existing uh, legal non-complying with regard to area and lot frontage. So overall, the severance will be increasing. Um, the lot areas and improving the existing situation. Any future development on each parcel um, will be required to comply with the provisions of the bylaw and there's adequate lot area to do so. Uh, we received no um, comments from the public and uh, so based on this um, recommendation um, is that the uh, proposed severance and uh, lot additions B68A and B68B at 2023 uh, be approved as they um, comply with the provincial policy statement, the County of Lennox and Addington official plan, the Township of Stone Mills official plan, and the provisions of the Township zoning bylaw pending the noted conditions are satisfied. Thanks, Emma. Concerns or questions from the committee? No? I uh, just wanted to say it's a good use of those two small parcels, which I don't know what the heck they were intended for, but uh, this is a much better use. <laughs> A typical village lot. Is that what it was, Marlene? Okay. Okay. All right. I need a mover and a seconder. Moved by Dieter, seconded by Bob, that we 
for B68-2023 and B68-2023B, both of them be included in your motion? Yeah. Okay. Any further concerns or questions from anyone? All those in favor? Okay. Have a good evening, Marlene. Thank you, Carl. A nice way to tidy things up. A nice way to tidy things up. Yeah. <clears throat> Bill 1-2024, Detler, 245 Miller Road. You're on again, Emma. All right. Um, consent application, uh, BO1 2024, uh, seeks to sever one parcel um, for residential purposes. The proposed severed lot has an area of 1.11 hectares with 111 meters of frontage on Miller Road. The proposed retained land will keep 47 hectares of lot area um, with approximately 1,108 meters of frontage on Miller Road. The retained is developed with a single detached dwelling, barn, and garage. Um, so the purpose of the severance is to create a new lot for residential development. Uh, no new development is proposed for the retained as part of this application. Um, so from our review, the proposal uh, meets the intent of the provincial policy statement as it will be serviced by a rural infrastructure, um, private well and septic. It's designated rural in the county of Stone Mills, sorry, county of Lennox and Addington, as well as the township of Stone Mills official plan. Um, we will note it is in an area of identified bedrock resources, but based on comments provided by the Ministry of Mines, the proposed resource use would not be feasible due to the extent of existing development in the area. Um, the township, in the township official plan, I will note too that the land, portion of the lands are designated locally significant wetlands and woodlands. However, no development is proposed within these areas and the proposed severed lot is uh, well outside of the adjacent land. So no negative impacts are anticipated. Uh, Quindy Conservation has reviewed um, and has noted that um, it, through this application, the applicant would need to apply to the Conservation Authority for development on the retained if the development is within 120 meters of the wetland boundary. Um, so in accordance with the Township of Stone Mills, a maximum of three residential lots may be created. Uh, prior consent report was submitted in 2021. Um, so this uh, proposed severances within the uh, permitted number of severances. Um, and with respect to um, MDS, a minimum distance separation investigation was completed and there is adequate area outside of the MDS setbacks for the proposed lot to comply. So the proposal complies with MDS. And with respect to the township zoning bylaw, they're zoned rural, the severed and retained are zoned rural. Uh, the proposed severed parcel uh, meets the minimum lot area and frontage requirements for residential uses in the zoning bylaw, and there's adequate lot area on the retained um, for any future development to comply with the uh, required setbacks. Uh, we received no um, public comments from this application. Um, so based on this, it's our my proposed or my professional planning opinion that the proposed severance is consistent with the intent of the provincial policy statement, conforms to the policies of the County of Lennox and Addington official plan, uh, Township of Stone Mills, Mills official plan, and provisions of the Township Zoning Bylaw, uh, provided the noted conditions are met. Thank, Thank you. you Emma. Questions or concerns from the committee? Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you always look at me. Hi. Hi. Um, as you all know, I am no great fan of hand-drawn sketches. Um, I was trying to figure out how you how you got exactly 111.25 meters of frontage. Of course, I did the conversion to feet, 365 feet, so I understand how that came about. Uh, the only question I do have is the that uh, the north boundary. Um, I'm going to show you a sketch here, if you don't mind. Yeah. 
same thing, you know, we've done this before. We were, we moved the severance line to hit the fence, you know. I didn't want, I didn't want the severance line to be, you know, five meters off the fence line. Great, that's it. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That satisfies uh, my questions, and I'm quite satisfied with the, the application. Are you satisfied? Yes, year? I am. <laughs> Bonus. <clears throat> Anyone else have any concerns or questions? The applicant have any any questions? No. Okay, I need a mover and a second. Oh, Dieter, thank you. <laughs> Do I have a seconder, Bob? Any other questions or concerns? Call for the vote. All those in favor? Okay. Have a good evening, people. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <clears throat> Anyone have any other concerns or questions for the committee here this evening? <clears throat> no. Do we have anything else on the agenda for another meeting or? Do Do we have anything on uh, on the back burner for another meeting, Cindy, or not? Okay. We're hoping the first few weeks of May we can schedule something if members are available. So. The first few weeks of May, we're working on getting an application from a previous meeting on the first few weeks of May. But at this time, it's just the one application. So you'll be staying with us, Emma? I guess I believe so. Didn't catch it. So I guess I believe, I guess we will be uh, here for the uh, next meeting. Okay. To be confirmed. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone have any concerns or questions? For as far as this evening goes, I ask for a motion to adjourn. Moved by Bob. Second by Aaron. Thank you. Everyone have a good evening. Thank you.